Today we're going to calculate area. This is a little refresher. We're really going to practice using partial product when calculating area. Let's remember that area is the measurement of the inside of a figure. And you find area using multiplication, length times width. This is different from perimeter, which is adding. Think of area as an array. If I want to count up all these boxes, you can always count them, but as your numbers get larger, you don't want to. So I know I have three boxes on this side and four on this side, and I know that if I have an array, I can use multiplication to solve that. And so my area is 12 square units. An area is measured in square units, and we'll look at what that looks like when we're giving our answer. Area is different from perimeter because perimeter is not in square units. And we do want to be careful with our labels. So let's use partial products to solve some area problems. You can set up your problem. I know I'm going to multiply 125 times 6. You can pause the video. I'm going to solve the problem, and then you can check your answer. The area of the sheet is 750 square inches. I can write it like that because a little 2 means squared. Or square inches. Either one is fine. Let's try another one. This one, you don't even need partial products. We have a square here. And I know that I just need to multiply my length times my width. And my area is 49. You can pause the video and play it when you have your answer. Six hundred three square feet. Set up your problem. I'm going to multiply nine times with. Pause the video and solve it. Is 5,960 square centimeters. Length times width, 408 and 7. Do not let that zero trick you, it actually makes it much easier to solve. Area is 2,856 square inches. You can write it like that too. Okay, we have one more problem. Pause the video and solve it. Area is 6,372 square centimeters. Nice shot.